All right, football fans, so here we are, week two already. So, last week, uh, <laughs> last week, my predictions didn't do all that well. Now, before we get started, please make sure you hit that like button, hit the subscribe button. I love to see the comments, trying to get the algorithm going so that YouTube shows these football videos to more people. Don't forget, if you want to share this video or retweet it when it comes out, I will enter you into the contest to win the Jason Taylor jersey that I'm giving away week four. So any of the football videos that you see up until uh, the Colts game, if you retweet it and share it, you're entered into the contest. Now, last week I was, <laughs> I told you don't take the picks to Vegas. I told you don't take the picks to Vegas. I was seven and nine. And uh, my son Kyle and I decided we were going to run a little contest amongst ourselves in a weekly contest. And at the end of the video, I'm going to give you what Kyle's picks are. Just real quick, I'm just going to run off the names of the teams. However, Kyle was 11-5. and five, So um, I will have the timestamps in the video if you just want to skip to his picks and take his picks to Vegas. Because apparently my son is significantly smarter than I am. Now let's get into the picks for this week. All right, second game is Raiders and Steelers. <laughs> I did. Does anybody really think the Raiders uh, are good? Does anybody really think the Steelers are good? Outside of the individual fan bases, so they both win games that you really kind of thought they wouldn't win. Who do you believe in there? Well, I'm going to go 1916 Steelers because, well, they're at home. I got nothing else. So the second game is Giants versus the Potato Skins. So I've got the Skins at 34-20. Heine, Heine, Heine Weenie Whiny is the quarterback now. We had Fitzpatrick. I liked Fitzpatrick. Now he gets up. Actually, it, that sounds like the two guys' names combined sounds like a beer. Heineken Fitzpatrick. That sounds like a pretty damn good beer, actually. So I've got the Potato Skins winning 34-20. Eagles, 49ers. Now I've got 35-28 Eagles. Again, both teams won big. But, again, do you really know much about either one of these teams? I know Jalen Hurts. Looks like he's in the MVP category already. That's what I saw. That's what somebody on Twitter told me. How about that for a hot take? Somebody said it, so I said it, and then somebody else will say it, and somebody else will say it, and then there'll be an article about how there's buzz about Jalen Hurts and the MVP. You see how this works? We don't know what the hell we're talking about. Obviously, I don't either with the picks I made last week. 35-28 Eagles. Texans and Browns. To, to, come on. Come on. Come on. 27-13 Browns. The next game is the Broncos and the Jaguars. So Melvin Gordon just had 100 yards. The Jaguars allowed 150. You can do the math. 24-10 Broncos. Sorry, Jacksonville. Just, it's not good. It's not good. Saints and Panthers. This is one that I, I want to pick the Panthers, but I'm not. I got 21-19 New Orleans. James Winston looks good, people. If, if, if the Saints can be the same team, but with Winston throwing the ball deep, um, that's a problem for the other NFC teams. They look pretty good right now. Rams and Colts. The Colts allowed four touchdowns. To Russell Wilson. Not that Russell Wilson's bad, but Russell Wilson doesn't, you know, you know, he's a two touchdown guy, maybe a three touchdown guy, not a four touchdown guy. The point is, what's Matthew Stafford going to do to him? Okay? I got a 45 14, 45 14, and the Colts are in trouble. Colts are going to be in trouble here, people. I'm just saying. All right. My Miami Dolphins versus the Buffalo Bills. Now let's let's let just bear with me here. Josh Allen threw 50 times. Single Terry average six and a half yards a carry. Ben threw for under 200 yards, and Harris averaged 2.8 per carry. And somehow the Steelers 
won the game. Buffalo is going to be desperate. Desperate, desperate, desperate. 1913 Finns. Did you think I was going to pick against them? Come on. Come on. Look, if they win 10 games this year, I could pick every time. I can pick every week for them to win and still come out ahead. Patriots versus the Jets. Well, there's a few games on the schedule that the Jets could win. The same one of them. 34-20 Patriots. And Matt Jones will go 33 of 37 for like 200 yards, dinking and dunking, four yards a pop, while somebody's just wide open, and then the media will praise him like he's the second coming of Brady. And, and just don't even get me started. Bengals versus the Bears. Somehow the Bengals ended up with two NFC North teams in a row to start the season. They surprised the Vikings last week. What the hell? Let's do it again. 20 to 17 Bengals. And can somebody tell me why the Bears are playing Andy Dalton instead of Justin Fields? Is it either Fields is really, 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 really not ready, or it's just stupid. Just why even bother? It's Andy Dalton. Come on. Falcons versus the Buccaneers. Come on. Really? 44-12. There's nothing else I need to say. Vikings against the Cardinals. Now I've got 38-24 cards because there's just no way they're going to stop Kyler Murray. Cousins will have some success, don't get me wrong, but this is going to be, be 5,000 yards passing in this game. It's going to be a beautiful game to watch, but I just don't see, I just don't see it happening for the Vikings here. 38-24 cards. All right, the next game on the schedule is the Titans and the Seahawks, and I need to take a drink. What's going on, Titans? Y'all, my Super Bowl pick. Y'all fixing to go 0-2. I got 27-26 Seattle, and that, that, that hurts. That hurts. Because what I want to say is Ryan Tannehill is going to lead a game-winning late-game drive, come from behind, and, and save your season. But I think that'll be Russell Wilson instead. Cowboys versus the Chargers. One thing I do know is that whoever came up with the Cowboys' initial two games needs to be fired. And I realize they don't work for the team, but whoever, whatever algorithm, whoever thought it is, they got to go on the road to Tampa and then on the road to the Chargers. <clears throat> now, I've got 33-30 Cowboys, and don't ask me why. Okay, so why? Well, because I think they're going to be desperate. I think they're going to be really, really desperate, and I'm not so sure I trust the Chargers completely. I know they're at home, but that's about it. I know Herbert is good, but that's about Dak looks good, okay? I, I have no reason other than the Cowboys have to win this game for them to win this game. 33-30. Don't quote me on that. The Sunday night game is a beauty. Chiefs, Raisin, Ravens, Raisins, Raisins? Well, they actually, they, they did wilt like Raisins in the last game. Hmm. If that's what Derek Carr can do to the Ravens secondary, um, what the hell is my homie going to do? You see what I'm saying? And yeah, I said it that way on purpose. So... 36-30 Chiefs. I don't like it. You don't like it. I want to pick against them because I don't want them to go undefeated. But Kyle's already four games ahead of me, so i got to stop screwing around. And the last game is Monday night. And this game could really, 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 really be bad. Lions versus the Packers. Now I've got 27-14 Pack because the Lions are bad. And Rodgers has got to do better, right? They're going to be at home. Um, they're going to be at home, and it's Monday night. It's got to do better. It's got, it's got to be better. It's got to be better, right? That's, that's, that's all I got for now. And now the moment you've all been waiting for.
Kyle's picks. Kyle has the Giants, the Patriots, the Broncos, the Dolphins, the 49ers, the Rams, the Raiders, the Bengals, the Browns, the Saints, the Cardinals, the Bucks, the Seahawks, the Chargers, the Chiefs, and Green Bay. So there's not a lot of room for me to make up ground there. But like I say, don't take my picks to Vegas. Take Kyle's picks to Vegas, and you do okay. And that was it. That was week two. I appreciate everybody who watches. Make sure, like, share, subscribe. Like I said, I'm not picky. I just want the algorithm to see that the football videos are being shared. Share it to a support group for people who only have one toe. It doesn't matter where you share it. If you click share, YouTube says, oh, they shared it. And then they put it in the suggested. And then more people watch the video. And then I can quit bitching about needing the videos to be shared. You, you see how this works. I'll have a Dolphins Bills preview up on Saturday. And then we've got just hockey, 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 hockey. You know, they got 11 days to the preseason game. And for those of you who watch both of my football and hockey videos, we have a massive problem on the 26th. We have a massive problem. The first preseason games for the Panthers are at 2 o'clock and 6 o'clock. We have a doubleheader against Nashville on the 26th. And the Dolphins have a game right in the middle at 4 o'clock. Now, I know the preseason games won't be on TV. So, I wouldn't be doing technically a typical recap. But I gotta put something out. So stay tuned for what crazy, what, stay tuned for how I figure it out. That, I, that, uh, that's three games. I was concerned about when we're gonna have two games at the same time. First year up to three, three, that's three games. Three games. I have no idea what I'm gonna do. 